Hi friends, today we are learning about some of the unique creatures you might see at a zoo besides some of the mammals that we learned about last week. Well, I know that whenever I visit the zoo, I love to go see some of the exotic birds at the zoo. In fact, I have some birds behind me here that you might see at the zoo. I've got a parrot up here. Now, the parrots you see at the zoo are not going to have a beach shirt and straw hat and flip-flops. This parrot is uh, ready for the summer. But you might see some real parrots. You also might see some toucans, maybe peacocks, and even flamingos. In fact, flamingos are my favorite bird to see. So today, I thought it would be fun if we made an art project, if we made a flamingo and a peacock using our handprints, okay? So let's get started. For this activity, you'll need some paper. You will also need some paint. I've got some blue and pink paint here. Now, if you don't have paint, that's okay. If you have some pink and blue paper, that would be great. If you don't have pink or blue paper, you could always use just markers and crayons, okay? So what I did is I took some of the pink paint and I put it all over my hands and I made two handprints with my thumb going down, okay? And I let that dry. I also did it with the blue. I just made one blue handprint. We're just gonna make one uh, peacock in just a little bit. But if you don't have the paint, once again, that's okay. You could trace your hand onto pink or blue paper and then cut your handprint out. If you don't have pink or blue paper, just use some markers and crayons. Trace your handprint, make sure it's going down, and color it in with some crayons, okay? Well, since I've got my two pink handprints, we're gonna turn these into two flamingos that are looking at each other. You will need a pink marker or a pink crayon. We're going to make the neck of the, the, the flamingo first. So I want you to come right over here to this part where your uh, palm would meet your wrist. And we're going to make like a candy cane. We're gonna go up and over, and then we're gonna go back around. So this is going to be our flamingo's head. And then we're just gonna color that in. Flamingos are, are known for having their long necks. And let's come over here to this side and let's make the same one, but we're gonna make the candy cane going the other direction, okay? So I'm gonna go up and around and back down and then color that in. I was learning some interesting facts about flamingos. Did you know that the reason why a flamingo is pink is because of what it eats? Yes, flamingos um, have something um, in their system called beta carotene, and the beta carotene comes from the crustaceans and plankton that the flamingo likes to eat. Well, when flamingos are taken to a zoo, um, if they're not given enough food that has that beta carotene in it, their feathers can actually turn, start to turn white. So the zookeepers have to feed them lots of shrimp in something called flamingo chow that has that beta carotene in it. Isn't that interesting? So that's why a flamingo is pink. Well, we need to finish our flamingo. We need to give our flamingos some beaks here. So um, let's come over here to this top part of the candy cane and I want you to make a curved beak and go back up. We're gonna make a curved beak on this one and back up and we can color that in. The flamingo's beaks are a black color. I also learned that a flamingo uses their beak to dig down in the mud and to uh, scoop out those crustaceans and plankton and, and shrimp things that they would want to eat. And it said that the mud that they get in their mouth, it just kind of filters out, just like this strainer. Mom or dad uses a strainer when they're cooking noodles, uh, pasta, and they have to strain the water from it so that the noodles stay in here and the water comes out. That's what the uh, flamingo does with their beak. They drain out the, uh, the muddy water, and then they can keep the, the yummy food in their system. Okay, well let's make an eye for, for our flamingos. We're just gonna put one dot, because it's like we're looking at our flamingos from this side. And now we need to add just some legs, and then we're done with our flamingo. I'm gonna take my orange marker here, and do you see my thumbprints that are down? That's gonna be the beginning of the leg. I'm just going to make a um, sideways, V 
like going like that. In fact, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. There we go. And then I'm going to start up here at the top and make the other leg just going straight down like that. So over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a straight line down. And then for this thumb part, I'm just gonna make a slanted line and go in. Those are my flamingo's legs. I think I might uh, make them a little bit thicker so that they show up. I'll zoom in here in just a minute to give you a close up look. But my flamingos are done. We turned our handprints into flamingos. Well, would you like to try to turn your handprint into a peacock? Okay, so let me take this one down. Here are our cute flamingos. And we learned some interesting facts about them. Let's get our blue handprint. And remember, if you didn't have blue paint, if you just cut out some um, your handprint from some blue paper, that would be perfect. You could even trace your hand with a blue marker and then color it in with a blue crayon. Now, for this uh, peacock, I do have some yellow paint that I wanna add because a peacock's feathers are real colorful. So, I'm gonna go back over some of the, the blue parts for my feathers with some yellow paint. If you don't have yellow paint, that's okay. Just use your yellow crayon or your yellow marker. Now, I was reading about peacocks, and did you know that only a male peacock is actually called a peacock? If they're females, they're called peahens. I did not know that. And um, did you also know that a peacock, the male, he's the one with the bright, beautiful feathers, and he uses those feathers to strut around and attract the ladies. Yeah, interesting. The female's feathers aren't as colorful. They're kind of like brown and gray, more, more dollish colors. Very interesting. Okay, well let's take that yellow paint, or you can just take a yellow crayon or yellow marker, and on your finger prints, I want you just to add some dots. These are going to be the colorful parts of our peacock's feathers. My tray is wanting to fall down just a little bit. Now, we're not going to add any to the thumb because that's going to be the head of our peacock. Okay, so let me wipe my paint off my finger just a little bit. I'm going to take a um, blue marker and then also a green marker. And to make these look more like feathers, I'm going to just make some curvy short lines going up just like this. So here's my blue. I'm gonna do that to both sides of each finger. So I'm making just short little lines that are coming out of my finger. That yellow paint is wet and I, I don't want it to get mixed up in my marker. So I'm gonna be real careful that I don't touch it. Just making some short curvy lines going up. And I'm doing this with my blue but because a peacock's feathers, a male peacock's feathers are very colorful, I'm going to now take my green and I'm gonna add some more uh, lines for the feathers just to make them more colorful. Now, once my yellow dots dry, I think I might take my green marker and make some dots inside. You can take any colors you want. Make your peacock's uh, feathers colorful. Maybe throw some pink or purple in there. You use whatever colors you want. You can get creative. I just know that um, a male peacock, a lot of times their feathers are blue. That's why we made ours blue to start with. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to work on our peacock's head. I want you to take that um, blue marker or whatever color you're using and come over here to the thumb and we're gonna make um, we're gonna make it look like he's got some feathers coming up out of his head. So I'm gonna take um, and I'm gonna, oop, I have my green marker, that's okay. I'm gonna go up and make some curlies. Go up and make some curlies. Up and make some curlies. Let me zoom in so you can see what I did. Here's my peacock's feathers. And there are the curly, curly cues going above the peacock's uh, head. Okay, now we are going to take a black marker 
and I want you to make a beak. So we're gonna come out and back in, and then I'm gonna just trace part of my thumb. I'm gonna make a circle where I'd want the head of my peacock to be and put a dot there, okay? And now I'm gonna take my yellow marker and fill in my peacock's beak there. We are almost done. Oh, this is looking more and more like a peacock. Remember, only the male is called a peacock. What's the female called? A peahen. Yes. Okay, let's add some legs. Peacocks have two legs. They can walk around on, strut around on, and now my peacock is all done. He is ready to strut around and attract all the ladies by spreading out his beautiful feathers. I hope you had fun turning your handprints into some cool birds that you might see at the zoo. Okay, see you in a little bit. Bye, kiddos.